My name is Tim Chambers and I work for Coastline Regional Occupation Program and I teach auto technology here at Laguna Hills High School in Laguna Hills, California. And today I wanted to talk a little bit about what we're doing with the project. Uh, the project is called Restoration 66 and it's connecting students with family, community, history, and the restoration of older vehicles in our community. I contacted the Collectors Foundation a couple years ago with some ideas that I had and wanted to find out more about the program. The Collectors Foundation gives out grants to schools, to museums, to different types of organizations that have to do with the restoration of older vehicles and also wooden boats, uh, which I found pretty interesting. And I thought this was a great idea for, for me, and in, in all in all, it's a great idea for any you know, high school auto program that wants to try to do something like this. So being in contact with them, we threw some ideas around. I talked to my students. What we had was a donated Ford F100 in 1966. And so we decided that we were gonna make a mild custom out of this vehicle. And so we uh, drew up a plan, we contacted the foundation, and working with Coastline ROP, we developed a grant and submitted it, and we got it, which was a great thing, and the students were really excited about it. So we started on the project, we tore the vehicle down somewhat, and uh, we've started now putting it back together with new paint, new engine, new wheels and tires. Uh, not only do we work on the vehicle and, and work on the restoration process, but we also have the students talk to their families, talk to their neighbors, talk to their grandparents. Anybody concerned that they might know might have a vehicle, an older vehicle, or a very good memory, uh, fond memory, of, uh, of something that happened in their lifetime that revolved around a vehicle, or a car, or a truck, or what it may be, even a wooden boat. Uh, and I was really surprised that the students, after talking to their parents, and talking to their grandparents, and talking to neighbors, people that have cars, all the great stories that came out of this. We're an automobile society and we rely on our vehicles heavily and you know ever since these cars have been around you know there's so many great stories that come out of this and that's the I think the neatest thing about this whole program. Of course building the truck and letting the students do this is a, is a major part of the deal but also again the history behind it. Since this project has begun the students have really taken to it and they're very excited about it and they love what they're doing and as we go on farther and farther into the project they see the truck starting to evolve with new paint, new interior. We took the engine apart, rebuilt it, put it back together, uh, mounting tires, so on and so forth. Uh, and it's just turned out to be a great deal for the students, for the, for the faculty, for Coastline Regional Occupation Program. Everybody involved has just been great. I contacted vendors that had parts related to this vehicle that we could use. And they were very gracious and very generous uh, in, in uh, after speaking to them. But since this project has started, there's been a little bit of a change. And I want to go uh, touch base on this because it's very important. The Collectors Foundation has joined forces with the LeMay Automotive Museum. They're located in Tacoma, Washington, and they call themselves America's Automotive Museum. It it's, is the biggest automotive, privately owned automotive museum in the United States. Uh, approximately 2,500 to 3,000 cars at any given time. They have lots of events, uh, very community oriented. Uh, I've been in contact with the LeMay Museum uh, to introduce myself and to let them know what we're doing. And they were you know, ecstatic about the whole situation uh, as far as you know, involving the students uh, in this build. I would like to thank some people involved, because without them, this would never happen. First of all, Coastline Regional Occupation Program for helping me write the grant, uh, Laguna Hills High School for letting us do this project here in the auto shop. I've contacted a number of vendors when we started this build, and I'd like to thank them. They've been very generous in helping us out with parts and assistance in, in other ways. Um, and those people are National Parts Depot, LMC Truck, DJM Suspension, they provided us with a complete suspension kit uh, to lower the vehicle. Uh, Jags, uh, Performance Parts, uh, have given us quite a few parts. Allen Tire Company, who helped us with the rims and tires. 
And last but not least, some private individuals who through some forums that I you know, posted some, some links and stuff about what we were doing, uh, have come forward and have brought trucks down like this to show the students what they look like when they're finished and running and what they look like when they're customized and paint jobs and different engines and so on and so forth. So this has been a great effort by everybody involved and please go on to the LeMay Museum Facebook page and throw us some likes and watch what we're doing. You'll see us on there, you'll see some videos, some pictures, we have an album that we're making on there of stills of the students working on the vehicles. So you can see firsthand what we're doing. This process is going to be going on for, for actually quite a bit longer. Uh, as you know, these restoration projects do take time and we want to get it right and we, have, we want to have a nice product when we're finished. So that being said, again, thank you very much and you'll be hearing from me again. <music>